Why do you have to bring Daryl? He's a bit boring, isn't he? Oh, boring. What, because he doesn't go around with a haircut and a, an iPod and piercings and a strap-on? Strap-on? It's an example. Uh, sorry, excuse me. I ordered uh, three pilau rice and three peshwari naans. It's, it's all right, Jeremy. It's all right. I changed the order. There's always rice left. It's not all right. Bring us three pilau rice and four peshwari naans, please. I've shared enough rice with you, Mark. I'm in the big league now. Four naan, Jeremy. Four? That's insane. So, what am I going to pay you to do in my band? That's very kind of you, Jez, but you don't want to overstretch yourself. Bollocks. I'm a very generous guy. Daryl's bringing his corps anglais. Nancy's singing. What are you going to do? <laughs> well, we did once talk about me doing a kind of Jean-Michel Jarre thing on the keyboards. Mm-hmm. Or, I was sort of hoping you'd say you want to be the manager. Yeah? You could order me around, which you'd enjoy, but I'd be your boss. It could be kind of confusing. In a good way. Three more beers for the three musketeers, eh? Ooh. Ah. <laughs> ah. Ah. Hi, guys. Um, we're interrupting. We should probably... Sit down, Jez. Join the party. Any luck? No, still nothing. Bollocks. OK, Dad. Time to turn on the money hose. Up the reward. Fucking hell! He's got mummy! He's brought a dead dog into my pitch, the stupid bastard! Sorry, uh, Mark. Carry on, what were you saying? Uh, 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 yes, as I was saying, I, I love cinema, uh, especially the films of Spielberg, Lucas and uh, the man who did The Usual Suspects. What's in the bag? Oh, uh, Mark and I had a barbecue. Oh, barbecue. Yum. Have you got any left? No. No, not really. No, we were really hungry. You have got a bit left, I can see. It's really, really badly cooked. We didn't cook it at all well. Mark couldn't be bothered to get fire lighters. Well, uh, just keeping a handle on the purse strings there. The ABC, or always be cost-cutting. Uh-huh. Come on, Jess. I really don't think it's a good... Oh, we've only got cheese and hummus. What is it? It doesn't look very much it's turkey. like... What... It's turkey leg. Is that all right? What can I tell you? I'm no Ainsley Harriet. It looks weird. What's going on, Jeremy? Nothing. This is turkey. Look. See? Mmm. <laughs> Undercooked, disgusting turkey. Hey, Mark, would you like some? No, thanks. Here, eat some turkey. No, Jeremy, it's not my turkey. I really feel, since I'm eating turkey, you should eat some turkey. It was your idea to barbecue it. I really don't feel like eating turkey, Jeremy. I'm full. I'm eating dog leg. I have definitely reached a new low. What's that on it? Oh, there's hairs on it, Jeremy. Hairs? It's just a hairy turkey. What's this? Mummy? Mummy is probably the turkey's nickname. It could easily be. They ate Mummy! They found Mummy and killed her and ate her! <laughs> Look, uh, I'll, I'll email through my references, Malcolm. Rora, I'll call you. Fuck off, Jeremy! <laughs> Guess not fitting my CV onto one side of A4 is basically irrelevant now. God, probably good things didn't work out with her. She is totally overreacting. It's not like I ate her mum or her dad. Did you actually have to eat it? I don't know. I keep wondering that. But, you know, in the moment, it really did feel like I needed to eat it. God, she's gorgeous. This is killing me. Maybe I can just go and rob myself against her, say I'm doing an experiment. No, too pathetic. OK, here goes. The nuclear option. The ultimate. So, Nancy, I just wanted to say how much I'm enjoying not having sex with you. Really? Yeah. Come on, Jez. Death or glory. In fact, I was going to propose that we should probably never have sex again. I mean, all that humping and pumping. We could take all of that wasted energy and try and accomplish so many more important things. Well, yeah, I mean... I mean, that's great, Jez, but I really wanted this to bring us, you know, closer together. Oh, but it has. I feel incredibly close to you, without any pressure to be sexual. I mean, these... I mean, they're just a pair of human breasts, for Christ's sakes. Now I can finally appreciate your whole body without any 
stupid sexual desire. Well, yeah, I mean, celibacy, that's, that's great, but maybe it's all just a bit of naughty Nancy. Nancy can't have fun. Nancy must be punished. And maybe I should just say, fuck you, Mom. Oh, yeah, take that, God. Shove this up your toga, you big beardy killjoy. Threesome. Oh, yeah. Here I come. No need for Big Sue's ever even to know about. Big Sue's? Hi, Jeremy. Here for the threesome. Well, yeah. Oh, my God. I'm going to have a threesome with Big Sue's. Michelle's not some sort of macho sexual terrorist. She's brilliant. Hey, Jez. Hi. So, Sue's, brilliant to see you. It's great, isn't it? Everyone's a winner. I need somewhere to live and Michelle needs a lodger. You're moving in with Michelle? It's great, isn't it? I'd forgotten how sweet she is. Oh, that smile. I know. Have an amazing time with the threesome. Where's she? Come on, there's someone in the living room I'd like to introduce you to. Jeremy, meet Vicky. Hi there. Did you know the ground rules? What? Has he had a shower? He doesn't look like he showered. Why isn't she talking to me? Look, Vicky's just very busy, OK? She's not all that sure about this whole thing. She's doing me a massive favour. She'd just rather not talk to you, OK? Vicky, shall we go and get ready? You know where the bathroom is. You'll find a bottle of antibacterial shower wash by the basin, OK? I will have had a threesome. I will have had a threesome. So, Jez, a threesome? That'll be nice. My friend Jen did a threesome once. She said she cried for about an hour afterwards, but I'd still definitely like to try it sometime. Yeah, right. Suze, you don't want to go back out with me, do you? Oh, Jez. You're such a nice guy, but... I think maybe it wasn't meant to be. Hmm? Jess, we're ready! Listen, come on, you can skip the shower. Just use a flannel. Vicky doesn't want to miss her train. This is great. I'm having it large. It's like I'm living in a porno. Except porn stars probably get lovely sedatives so they feel like they're not really there. Lovely sedatives. It's actually quite nice to see you, Jeremy. Yeah. So I've been getting in touch with all my exes because there's something I need to tell them. But I just thought, why not turn it into a bit of a date? Yeah? Well, I've got some news too. Me and Johnson are over. He's looking for someone more subservient on the internet. Is he? What a shit. So what's your news? My news? What is my news? My news is that I've just got this hunch that everything's going to turn out OK in Iraq. Iraq? Yeah, well, obviously everyone seems to have this massive downer on the whole thing, but I say it ain't over till it's over, baby. So, what should we have to drink to celebrate? Well, a Barolo is always nice. Shit. Can't ask how much. Restaurant. You have to pretend you're infinitely wealthy for some reason. OK, flicking, looking. If only I knew the name of any other wine. What's a wine? Is the one Hannibal Lecter drinks real or a joke? A bottle of Barolo it is. Lovely. There it is! Oh, shit! No! 45 quid? I've just spent 45 quid on wine. I'm paying, I assume. Well, you did invite me. Of course. There's a fiver's worth right there. Oh, that is fantastic. Yeah, this. This is wine. Yeah. Look at what these idiots are drinking. Look at these dicks. <laughs> Obviously, it's not really delicious, like hot chocolate or Coke, but for wine, brilliant. <laughs> <laughs>